to see you as always. What an amazing start to this season. Anybody who missed the kickoff to the redemption season, I encourage you to go watch. It was a heater. Last season, we had a heartbreaking three straight losses. We all know that. But we started this season with an amazing dub, a rage quit, and a challenge wheel complete. You legitimately cannot ask for anything more. Our prestigious have paid off amazing. Team of the year voting is currently underway. So TJ Hawkinson and Micah Parsons can both get new cards. I feel very strongly that Micah Parsons will get a new card. I'm more on the fence about Hawkinson. He's going up against some amazing tight ends. We have a very questionable secondary with Anthony Harris and Christian Matthew, but Sauce Gardner and Megatron can hopefully hold down the fort. Hassan Reddick was awesome last game. So glad to have him. I pulled Ken Norton on the challenge wheel pack. So we haven't used him at all, but I gave him Lurker. We've also got Dalvin Tomlinson, Javon Curse, who is also amazing. And offensively, we got one upgrade for Michael Irvin already. Zion Johnson's played great. And Malik Willis was actually so good. We didn't get to see his QBR, but I had to bet it was like 120 plus. He played amazing. So without further ado, we're 1-0. and Let's get another W under our belts. Give it up, baby! It's the redemption season. Wheel spin number one of redemption season is a... Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. We've never gotten this. All right. I can take one of any player who appears in sets. Back when I played Madden Mobile all the time, I always did these. But now my focus is on making super heater videos. So I don't get to see sets a lot. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. So for example, there's a 96 Josh Johnson in sets. I could take Josh Johnson if I wanted to. <laughs> and the first thing I notice when sorting by overall is that ultimate legends have sets. Oh my God, I did not realize that. I could go 97 Bo Jackson and move Okoye back to fullback. Oh my God, I'm so tempted. I could go Edelman, Doc, do Ray Lewis would be such a good user. Holy shit, this is crack. Is this really gonna be a Bo Jackson season? I, I think I'm going Bo Jackson. 97 overall Bo Jackson, a cool move million coins 97 speed six foot one 227 98 truck 97 brake tackle i don't even know what else to say i know he's gonna be a god catching is 87 which is surprising for bo jackson cards they usually really screw him on that short route running is a 91 oh my god dude bo he's about to be my return man too i'm gonna be housing some kicks with bo a million coins for ultimate legend bo jackson the new hatback on this squad okoye is getting booted back to actual fullback let's see what abilities he gets Gets. He gets backfield master? What? He gets backfield master? I'm gonna go do his solo challenge. This will be the first time I've manually done a fucking solo challenge. Bo Jackson's first challenge. Score a rushing touchdown in five plays. Am I like a baby back bitch and just a big complainer? Or are the menus actually really slow in Madden? I feel like the menus are unacceptably absurdly slow. But pipe layers in. Let's go get a few more of these. That was easy. Like I always think about it. Whenever I do a team builder and I have to build a team from scratch, it legitimately takes like two and a half to three hours. Whereas like for me to build a 22 man roster on 2K, that would take me like 30 minutes. Now I know 2K is a dog shit company too. I know 2K likes to fuck their players over too. But one thing that 2K does that's really smart is when you buy players, it goes to that little binder rather than going directly onto your team. So you can spend all this time on the auction house buying players and then later you claim them. And that's why 2K's menus are nowhere near as laggy, 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 laggy. and slow as Madden's. I don't know. I don't know why Madden doesn't do that. All right, shiny token. Here we come. Bo Jackson shiny token pack. By the way, I want to say animator guy. I'm not a fan of the ultimate legends animation. So we're subbing in Bo at halfback and Xander Horvath. Thank you very much for your service. But Krishna Koye is going to come back in here. Now let's see what discounted abilities Bo gets for the little solos we just did. He also like the card art does get significantly cooler. So I'm with it here. The shiny upgrade for Bo. He's got even cooler front art. And I forgot God, you guys remember back in Michigan when I ran a mile for a card? It was for this little Tecmo looking Bo Jackson right here. I think I'm gonna rock that card art. We're going Freight Train. Short in Elite is very good. And he does have Backfield Master. So I feel like with Backfield Master, he's gonna make good cuts anyway. I say we go goal line back here. So goal line back on Bo. We're also gonna give him... Oh my God. Tank is one. Backfield Master is one. And Bruiser is one. I can run all of these. I'm gonna go Bruiser. Goal line back. Backfield Master. All right. Starting off very, very hot with that's jackpot. Let's see what our second wheel spin can get us. No graveyard. We pass right over 50k or... Ooh, 
three players, 50k each. So we're not going to get any studs, but we will be able to fill some very necessary positions right now. Three players, 50k each. Here's a problem. Left tackle and right tackle, I really need. But I also really need free safety and corner. I'm going to get a free safety, a left tackle, and a right tackle. I'm going to start with a left tackle. There's Andrew Thomas, Donovan Smith. I'm going to rock with 91 Donovan Smith at my left tackle. At right tackle, I'm going to rock with Jermaine. Jermaine El Humanor. Don't know much about him, but happy to have you on the squad, my guy. A 90 and a 91. That is great up front. Looks like there are a lot of good options. All at 90. Can I get any 91s for 50k? John Johnson is available at a 91. 6 foot 90 speed. That's too slow. I'm actually going to rock with Sorensen. Sorensen's the cheapest, but look at Daniel Sorensen. 6 foot 2, 92 speed, 94 excel. His pursuit and play rack do concern me. Like, that is pretty low for a free safety, but I like his intangibles. I like his speed and size. Alright, we got some serious role players on that wheel spin. I like that. I needed some offensive line help, and the secondary is a little bit better. That leaves our final wheel spin. Hey, this is... Oh, I'm so excited to get this one. This actually came from one of you guys, one of you guys suggested this one on a totally different video, so thank you for your gigantic galaxy brain. This is one times pack coin value. What that means is I can open one pack, and the combined value of all of the players in the pack is how much I get to spend on one player. So I'm actually gonna do a Super Bowl fantasy pack. I think this gives me the best odds at the most coins. As we go through this, I'm gonna explain it to you guys, so let's go. 86,000 coins for this pack, so hopefully we get over 86,000 coins to spend on one player. So, round one, a 92 already. That's massive. Thielen, that's huge. Jonathan Allen and who's this last one? Merlin Olsen. So, we'll go Jonathan Allen, Adam Thielen. We're just looking for the highest overalls. 86, Danny Shelton. That's no bueno. Prince Tega one. Whoa, that's quite the name. Also, now what we're looking for. The final round, these are 88 pluses. We can at least a 91, 90. Good start. Come on, baby. Come on. Nickel Roby Coleman. Okay, we'll start with Jonathan Allen. What is Jonathan Allen's median price? 6,500 coins. All right, not a lot. We'll start there, though. Plus Adam Thielen's median price, which is 66,000. That's good news. Now we're at roughly 72,000. Prince Tega is selling for 8,000. So now we're at 80,000. I might be rounding up. 28,000. So we get 108,000 coins to spend on one player. So 108,000 coins to spend on one player. What about my team, though? What does my team need? I'd say we're definitely sparse on wide receivers. Andrew Ogletree being an actual legitimate starting wide receiver is a problem. The only thing with Ogletree is that's the only hole on my offense. We don't have a CB3 right now. We got to use this on a CB3. Dude, you know what I'm going to do, actually? <laughs> Dude, low-key, I feel bad for Seahawks fans. Seahawks fans, you did get Geno Smith comeback player of the year, but you definitely got robbed of offensive rookie of the year, Kenneth Walker. I don't think you got robbed on Tariq Woolen. I think the Tariq Woolen losing to Sauce Gardner was accurate, but I have the opportunity to have Tariq Woolen and Sauce Gardner in my secondary. This Tariq Woolen has now fallen to 99,000 coins. I'm not a God Squad player, but a 93 speed, six foot four corner is absolutely insane. Less than 100K? Holy shit, he's boosted to a 95 with my strategy item. That is insane. So what are your discounted abilities, Tariq? He gets deep out zone kill for two. That's not super discounted. Pick artist for one. I'll go tip drill for legitimately free. All right, so we're an 89 overall. I feel a lot better. I feel like we filled almost every major hole on this team in only the second episode. Let's fucking go. But I still have to win today because if I lose today, I lose Tariq Woolen. I lose Daniel Sorensen. I lose Donovan Smith and Jermaine. I lose Bo Jackson. This would be a sad loss. Oh my God. And of course, all that leaves for us is the challenge wheel. Let's see what we got in store for us today. Last one we knocked out of the park. It was an awesome one. Holy shit. I tell you what, if I didn't have Bo Jackson, I would say this is literally impossible. 55 plus vanity points. That is a fucking absurd number. I think... By the way, I'm scouting his team right now. 99 Valdez Scantling, 99 Cheetah. He is going to be looking to go over the top. Holy shit, that's a squad. Ah, please don't. See, this is really nice that I have Ken Norton now, though, because I can actually run my 4-1 defense. Patrick Mahomes, Isaiah Pacheco, Travis Kelsey. It's actually a Chiefs team team. Ah! Dude, this team team is so fucking good right now. He's got nothing. Lol. Oh, I take it back. <laughs> Remember when I said he has nothing? He, he had a 76 yard absolute fucking nuke. Remember when I said he was gonna go over the top too? He is gonna be looking to go over the top. Holy shit. Also, that's stupid by the way. QB sneak, I assume. 
Yeah, that's one hell of a theme team, I tell you what. Starting with this much of a deficit, I'm gonna put a serious, serious emphasis on completing my challenge. He's coming off the edge manually. Bo's got the catch. He's got yards. Good hard cut, Bo. So that's 22 yards and a reception. That's three fantasy points right there for Bo. I'm gonna go Jefferson here, just pick up some yards. This man coverage is, is gonna be fucking brutal. I'm gonna go Jefferson high ball. What a... Oh. It's like he had it for a second and lost it. That was a great switch up by my opponent to go Tampa 2. I totally expected man coverage. Fourth and seven. Oh, Bo over the middle. He's there. Great throw. Get there. Get there. Good work, Malik. Look at this D-line he's going up against. Crusher, edge threat, inside stuff, inside stuff, defensive rally, edge threat. He's going up against the line. He is usering Frank Clark, which gives me infinite room to scramble. I'm going to go play action. I am looking for Bo here. I know that's a little one-dimensional, but... Hey. Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Yup. Yup. Give me a block! Let's go, Jay Jettas! Get me in there! Let's go, Bo! I don't know what Bo's at. Let's go right up the middle. Ooh, he knows. Shit, he pulled the corner. Oh, it's Terrell Revis. I ain't worried about Terrell Revis. Two points good. Oh, DB Fire 2, bro. You come out in DB Fire 2, you're gonna get smacked by the run game. I'm sky kicking to the fullback because I'm a beta pussy bitch. If you're gonna sky kick to the fullback, you just have to admit it, okay? Every time you sky kick to the fullback, I need you to get down on your knees and say, I'm a beta pussy bitch. If you do that, it's okay. I'm a beta Pussy bitch. Oh, I gotta play defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No way he caught that. Ooh, I just blitzed sauce on accident. That is no bueno. He has a wide open touchdown on the left side. Oh, he threw a mallard. Bro, I blitzed sauce on accident right there. That could have been so bad. Ooh, a little PI from Palomalu. Oh, I know what you're doing. No. No way. He playmakered him up the field. He threw a bad ball. Whatever. This is actually good news. This guy is doing some bullshit. He has an ability on every single player on his team. Same play. That's why we contain Hassan Reddick. He's got a whip route on the left side. It is open. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. If he passed this and got it, I'd be shocked. Come on. Oh! He'll kick the field goal to make this 10 to 8. That's a great stop. We didn't stop him from scoring. We stopped the touchdown. Looks like we're in for another awesome game. I've got secure protectors on his inside stuff, so I am going to run this. I'm going to run this stock. Bo. Bo, you shifty motherfucker. I think he's in a Tampa 2, so I'm scared of throwing Bo. Okay. He was glitched on his D lineman. He could not move. Hawkinson. Beauty. I legitimately have no idea what that defense was. I could not read that. Oh, he's on that. Oh. Oh, he's not on that. He's not at all on that. Let's go, Bo. Okay, we're going to block right side. We're going to roll out right. Oh, beauty. That's fine. Bo's there. Get out of bounds. I think I'm just going to throw a true laser here. It is man, but Hawk is open. What a laser beam. I don't like this. That's what I didn't like. Get up there and spike it. Get up there and spike it. Please tell me you got time for that. <laughs> That's exactly what I said I shouldn't have done. What a huge mental mistake. I burnt too many timeouts. I did not get a field goal there. 18 seconds feels like a lot of time, but it isn't. Oh, great cut. Ooh, he had Justin Reed waiting for that. Hawk should be open. Hawk is very open. Beautiful throw, Malik. I'm going to put Bo out in a flat. Ooh, Hawkinson, great separation. I'll take that every time. Hawkinson keeps torching him over there, though. Let's get a hard cut. Beauty. Got the route I like on Bo. Justin Reed's creeping, bro. I do not like this run play. Inside zone split, but I want to try it here. Ooh, the inside stuff's got me. Can Bo make a move on a route? Ooh, he did not. My only concern here is Bo Jackson's fantasy points. If I win the game, I keep Bo Jackson no matter what. So it doesn't matter. I can't play assuming I'll lose. Ooh, let's go! First time getting to the quarterback. All right, now we just go straight coverage. Okay. It's going to get it into Gronk, who gets hit hard. I'm going to go for the QB again. I cover the middle. He goes Gronk again. Gronk's not going to get there. And that's a fourth and four. I think it's a pass. It's fourth and four. I'm putting a lot in coverage. Fourth and four for the ball game. Get to the QB. He heaves one. Up there. Let's fucking go. A turnover on downs. I just barely got back to that with Ken. Potentially can win the game here. We play this well enough. It ain't over yet, though. I've got secure protectors on... The inside stuffs, 
I've got Bo to the 39. That's one first down. Dude, I was talking about how important that two-point conversion was. And here we are. He's on his free safety. He's creeping. Oh, my God. Great blocks. Hard cut. Get inside. Bo! Oh, it's you! What even was that? Six rushes, 63 yards, and a touchdown. The clock ticks. First and 10. He probably expects me to run away from him again. Oh, cut it back up. Hmm. With ball carrier conservative there, I'm definitely not going to pick up those extra yards. I think Hawkinson is a good win con here. If I get a Hawkinson corner out, I definitely can win the game right here. Laser. What the fuck? What the fuck? How is it perfect accuracy? If it just went to his player. You just overthrew that by a mile to a different DB. How is it perfect accuracy? Justin Watson is guarding Michael Irvin. And he makes a diving interception on a ball that... What? Oh, no. That's so bad. Oh, no, gentlemen. We just got to make another big stop. <laughs> got to step up one more time. He throws the ball away. Doesn't have anything open. Second and ten. What? Mine. Ball game. Ted Norton! Ball game! Outplayed by Malik Willis! Take your Chiefs name, damn it! Shove it up your ass! Let's go! Take all the 99s in the world, I don't care! This team gets W's! Crucial, heartbreaking turnover there at the end. To turn that ball over in that moment, we easily could have lost. He just needed field goal range. Unable to get it. Ooh, I don't know what Bo Jackson was at. That is a bummer. I don't know what Bo was at. There's no way Bo is at 55 plus though. If he had 15 receptions, 100 yards, and a touchdown, he would have been at 31. My compromise for a rage quit like that is I'm gonna give Michael Irvin another upgrade. I feel like opening a pack wouldn't be fair because we definitely didn't get our challenge wheel. I don't know. I kind of just want to get Michael Irvin an upgrade. I want Michael Irvin to get saucy with it. A huge win. We keep Bo Jackson, who was obviously incredible. We keep Donovan Smith and Jermaine. Sorensen stays on the squad. Tariq Woolen stays on the squad. And Ken Norton. Ken Norton with a great game. Some crucial breakups. A fourth down breakup. A game ceiling interception. All right, gentlemen, Mike Irvin is up to an 88. I'm so happy with the whole team, dude. I might keep Malik Willis. This might be a Malik Willis Super Bowl run. Okay. There's some questionable stuff here and there, but that, that interception, I don't know if that was Malik Willis's fault or... Or if TJ Hawkinson got bumped and that was just like a Madden thing. I have heard that if it says perfect accuracy and you don't catch it, it's because of your receiver. Like your receiver got bumped or something. But then again, if Hawkinson got bumped, then that's pass interference, right? I don't know shit about dick about balls. Overall, we got to improve the offensive line. We need to get Ogletree out of there. We got to keep upgrading Mike Irvin, potentially upgrade Malik Willis, get a second tight end in there. Defensively, my safety could use a little bit of work. I need a right end, a secondary D tackle, a secondary middle linebacker and definitely a better user. And everybody else is amazing. Most importantly, literally like top of my list is a kicker. I'm not even kidding, bro. Cade York, yeah, whatever. Cade York. When I'm sitting there with a 49-yard field goal and I literally can't kick it because Cade York can't kick that far. That is horrible. I have to get an elite kicker on this team. All right, boys. I love you. What an awesome episode. I can't wait for the next one. I'll see you guys then. Peace.